We are here in Paris, you guys, after a long day and overnight of travel. So now we're just looking for our Airbnb right now. Um, we are staying just outside the city in an Airbnb. So we're gonna find that and then do an Airbnb tour. buildings is there a doorbell or something we can ring all right guys so we are here in paris at the airbnb so a little bit about our travel itinerary and plans to get here so we left out of newark last night we caught the red eye so we flew from 11 p.m to 11 a.m into london the reason why we flew into london is because it was significantly cheaper than flying into paris directly and also we're going to leave from london so it was kind of a round trip ticket rather than like multiple one ways so we flew into london from london we caught a one way to Paris and I timed it so that we had plenty of time in between but without there being like significant layover so we pretty much picked up our checked bag from the London baggage claim we left it in London because we're gonna go back to London and then we ran to our gate to catch our flight to Paris. So now we are in Paris, we're staying here for three nights, and then we're going to be heading to South France. So here we are in our Airbnb, we'll do a quick Airbnb tour. It is on the fifth floor of like an apartment building and there was no elevator, so definitely got my steps in today, but the Airbnb is super cute. It's very cute and cozy. So here's the front door, we have a cute little cozy bathroom. The shower looks like it's a whole four square foot wide so that might be a problem it's definitely going to be a single person shower um but it's cute nonetheless i don't know what's behind here oh shoes our airbnb host has great fashion taste i will say that um there's washer and dryer or i don't know if it does both i'm not sure but there's some sort of mechanism for clothes washing probably just a washer then a cute little kitchen, coffee maker and stuff like that. We have a refrigerator. Ooh, lots of wine. And a freezer. I don't know what that stuff is. Our Airbnb host said that we can help ourselves to anything that's here. So we definitely might get into some coffee and stuff. Say hi, babe. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. TV, there's Wi Fi, a lot of windows and open like air. Here is the bedroom, cute, cozy. Closets, mirrors, lots of mirrors. And then, like I said, a lot of windows. So you can see out into the streets. This is the street we walked up. That's the main road out there. So that's where we came from, the alley. We walked down, there's a lot of shops and stores and stuff there. So, very nice. I'm super excited. All right, you guys, I'm awake from my nap. I took a little bit of a nap. Jerome went to the store. He got like croissants and some pastries and stuff like that. And he also got us like a travel set of toothpaste and everything. And now we are dressed. I'll show you guys the full fit. Um, he's playing with the door right now. We don't know how to like unlock and lock the door. So we gotta figure that out. Um, but I'll show you guys the full fit. And then we are going to Uber down to like downtown Paris near the Eiffel Tower and all of that. It is currently, let's see what time it is. It is 9.05 you guys and look at how light it is look how light it is outside <laughs> the u.s could never could never um so yeah so we're gonna go out get some food go look at some attractions eiffel tower and whatnot that dress hanging over there on the steamer <laughs> i really wanted to wear that dress it was this cute little like cross body halter dress and of course i had it on i was almost ready to go put this little pink blush on right here that you see on the the cheekbones there and i went because it was liquid blush i went bloop and boom splattered right on the dress and now it's soaking wet and trying to get the stain out so it might make an appearance in this vlog on another day but in the meantime i wore this nice little red one um did you figure it out babe yep. you did 
So we ready to go? Come show the people your fit. Ooh, look at my man. See our fit, guys? Red's his favorite color, so you know. <laughs> you look nice, baby. Let's go. Look at <laughs> See you guys in Paris. So there's the apartment, guys. And you can see we are legit on the top floor. And there's no elevator in this building, so we walk down all five flights. Look at it up close and personal. Whoa. No, thank you. It's like you can see every little intricate detail, like all the scaffolding and stuff. I don't know why. I didn't think I would see that, but. Red Eiffel Tower! Made it. We made it. Ooh, get, the angles. Get, get the angles. The angles. We ain't seen the top. What's the top? It's all the way up there, babe. Yeah. We made it, you guys. It's another angle of it. As you guys can see, it's still pretty light outside. It's 9.49. You can see all these people, a bunch of guys selling like knickknacks and beer and wine. And then all these folks on the grass just hanging out on a Wednesday night. I think they're waiting for like the Eiffel Tower to light up. I think it lights up at a certain time of night and does like a thing. There it goes. Oh, it's 10 o'clock on the dot. So the show starts at 10. Oh, look at you, baby. It's so pretty. For all of you who want to come to France or who are living vicariously through this vlog, I hope this does it justice. It is gorgeous. <laughs> so like this, look. Holland. Yeah, I'm not used to. Et tu me dis, fais le toi parce que moi j'ai pas envie de niquer son truc. Oui. Ah, ils font le flash. <laughs> Mais par contre on est pas d'ici. On m'a dit va nous tirer oui oui baguette. No, you know. Come on. It looks like if we jump on here and go here to Miro Mesnil mm -hmm. and then switch over to M13, which is crazy because in Scandal that's like a, a government hitman group. But anyway, jump on M13, ew, get off of me, mosquito. And then it takes us up here to Porto de Glici. How do we get tickets down in the machine? They got in here, babe. Something's good, babe. Oh, I know. This Look at is that. It's a whole waffle in there. It's like our, our version of honey buns. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, Kinder Bueno. Maltesers are lovely. Yeah, Maltesers are Whoppers, guys. Not Maltesers are Whoppers, what we know of as Whoppers. Times two. The big bald headed Harry Ball makes chocolate balls. Excellent choice. Look at all the drinks. They're upside down. That's strange. Proud of us and freezing transportation, public transportation. We saved $30 in Uber costs by taking the train. We didn't make it yet, babe. Huh? Oh, we're almost there. We're on our way. We only yes. got seven more stops. We will make Airbnb. it, though. We will make it. We will make it, and it costs us three, $3.78, or however you say it, 370 euros. Mm. Point seventy euros. Whereas the Uber costs were up to $31. Wow. No, thank you. Good morning from Petty Paradise. It is our first official day um, in Paris. It's our first full day, although we did do quite a bit yesterday. Went to the Eiffel Tower, had dinner, took public transportation home, which was actually amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend. Um, so yeah, it's our first full day here. 
it is a Thursday and we are dressed you guys I'm gonna wait until we get outside to show you the full fit because it is chef's kiss um we are getting ready to do our tourism day like our exploration day so we have plans to go to the louvre um we are going to pass by the eiffel tower again we want to go to a place called luxembourg gardens um so we are freestyling today i did not make an itinerary which is you know my typical nature because the weather is looking kind of crazy so it's supposed to thunderstorm and rain for a few hours today and i just didn't want the itinerary to get messed up so we're gonna freestyle i have a list of locations that we are going to go today and we're kind of just going to play it by ear based on the weather so if it's raining or starts with thunderstorm then we're gonna go inside to the louvre you know but if it's nice outside we'll go to the gardens and whatnot so right now we are getting ready to head out and go get some breakfast we are starving um so we are going to grab something to eat and then we are going to catch the train back to kind of like the center city of Paris down by where all the attractions are. So let's get this day started. Let's get outside. I need to show you all this fit and let's explore. All right, what did we get for breakfast, babe? Raisins. Okay. Danish. Danish. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that one looks good. Croissant. Cheers. Here we are at Luxembourg Gardens. No bikes, no scooters, no dogs. Sorry, baby, can't come in. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> All right, so here is the map of the entire gardens. It's huge, y'all. So here we are, right here. Voi eti isi. Vos etis isi. Vos etis isi. Aki. Ah, uh, here. Okay, so we're gonna go straight to the fountain and then we're gonna go up. This is the palace. So we're gonna go up there, list all the things. All right, let's do this. This is gorgeous. So there's the palace. We got the grounds, the garden, the fountains over there in the distance. And we got just greenery everywhere. Statues. This is awesome. Scooters! <laughs> What's your back? Beep beep! Coming through! Look at the streets. Babe, you are zipping. You're zipping through these streets. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know what the weight limit is on these things, but we're probably maxing it. <laughs> we are going from Luxembourg Gardens to the Louvre and it was about a 20 minute walk, but my feet are already starting to hurt. So we walked some of it and now we're scootering the rest of it. So let's do this. You ready, baby? Ready to see some artwork? Ready. <laughs> you want to be have. an art connoisseur? Where's who? Lizzie. Who's Lizzie? You know, old Lisa. The boat of Lisa? Oh my gosh. The pyramids of Egypt. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> no dearest. Wrong continent. Wrong. <laughs> Marvelous. Absolutely gorgeous. You like it? Yes. All right, so here's our first exhibit in the Louvre. We are doing the Pharaon or Pharaoh. So it's like ancient African right or like African type of exhibit with pharaohs and stuff so let's go check it out We're 
we're trying to find the Mona Lisa. She's hiding. We don't know where she is. <laughs> they hid her. What do we have? We have some veal, some veal oso buco with some macaroni, and my baby's got some cod and vegetables and veggies. Get your veggies. Bon appetit! All right, guys, we have to get something sweet after dessert, you know. So, when in France, you already know the drill. We gotta get some macaroons. Cheers. Our first official macaroon together. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's good. It took a second for the flavor to kick in. Mm -hmm. Much better than the one I had. Somebody made one from like school or something one time. No. Mmm. What is this called? It's called. Where is the name right here? Maison Georges Larnacole. Mmm. You like it, baby? Delicious. Delicious. Merci beaucoup. Much better than the food we had. Well, my food was okay. My dinner was okay. But it's just the seasoning. It's the seasoning or lack thereof. It's just, I don't know what they're so afraid of, but. My food was luckily good. It had like some sauce on it. Um, I had veal. I had veal oso buco and it came with some really really good mac and cheese and luckily the veal had some like sauce on it so that kind of compensated but Jerome's cod <laughs> that thing was pale as a ghost. It didn't have not a lick of salt or pepper on it. I just don't know what they're afraid of but so that would be my only critique. What do you think babe about the food the dinner? Delicious. Why are you lying? It was good. <laughs> but? But? I needed to have mac and cheese. You like the mac and cheese. What else? My fish was good. Uh -huh. It was oily. It was oily? I said the seasonings don't really be there. That's just not the way they cook it. I know, that's not the way they cook it. But just to adapt. But give us some time. I'm just saying, us Americans is why we got high blood pressure because we like our salt, we like our seasoning. It's so hot. And come to France and you'll realize how much salt and seasoning we like because it ain't all here. All right, guys, here we are, day two in France. You can see we got our berets on today. We're beret buddies. Um, but and another fit, another fit. I have my sneakers on right now because we're getting ready to walk, but I have a cute pair of black heels in my bag to carry with me to change into for pictures and stuff like that. But you guys, this weather is trying to mess up the vibes. Like yesterday it was supposed to rain. It was like looking very sketchy, but it ended up being a false alarm and the weather was actually fantastic yesterday, super hot. Um, so I was like, oh great, you know, because we only have two full days here in Paris. So today the weather was looking to be the same thing and I was like, oh well if, I, if there was one false alarm there could absolutely be two. But no, the weather's definitely not cooperating. So, so let me show you guys. It is like pouring rain, pouring rain. And that has been off and on since like 9 a.m. this morning and it's noon um, and it looks like it's supposed to last for another few hours but today was supposed to be our day tour of Versailles um, so the big palace outside of Paris so it's kind of like messing up the plan for the day and I was like 
this fit cannot go wasted, you know what I mean? So we're still gonna go just because it looks like it's supposed to clear up in a few hours and it's about 40 minutes outside of the city anyway. So hopefully just by the time we get there and eat and everything, like it's, this weather is a little more friendly toward us. But yeah, today is our last full day in Paris. Um, tomorrow morning we're flying out very early to Nice to South France So that's why we kind of wanted to spend this last day in the palace and just do Kind of like our last exploring of Paris and stuff like that and just look how cute we look come on Come on. Look at this. Look at this Frenchman <laughs> Oui, oui, bonsoir <laughs> the all black. Ooh, baby looks handsome. What you know about that beret? So fingers crossed the weather clears up, but we are still going to go out. We have umbrellas. We are going to grab some brunch right now, and then we are going to jump in an Uber to Versailles. So let's go. We're not gonna let it disappoint us or dampen the mood. So. Oui, oui, let's go. All right, guys, so we walked about 12 minutes to a spot that we thought would be serving brunch. No, we didn't get breakfast or brunch, so we're zero for two for getting breakfast here in Paris. But we did get some burgers. Got myself a chicken burger with sweet potato fries. Your own got beef burger with potato whatever and some French cola. Let's go baby. <laughs> it looks What's good. your cake, babe? Huh? It's gone. I ate my cake already. Mind your business. <laughs> Dear, wakey wakey, we are at Versailles. Did you have a good rest? Yes, I did. <laughs> Look at this. Who is that? I don't know who that is. Eh? Some man on a statue on a horse. This place is magnificent, it's huge. Come on, baby. We've got exploring to do. Get with it, wake up. Someone slept good. He just left us in the Uber. What if we both passed out and that Uber driver took us to, to some other country and sold us on the black market? He's supposed to stay awake, I'm supposed to sleep. He knocked out. So I had to sleep with one eye open like this for the entire ride so we didn't get stolen. Okay. Strut for him, babe. One swap. <laughs> Oh, woke up ready to slay. Not the umbrella. <laughs> Not the umbrella. The beret. Borrowed my beret. What is he talking about? Because <laughs> you want to be like me so bad. Today I have my walking shoes on, you guys. Some sneakers. Make sure you have comfortable shoes because it's a lot of walking here. And you might want to look cute and all, which you can. I got my heels in my bag. But... Make sure you bring comfortable walking shoes because walking around is no joke, especially here because there's a lot of exploring to do and everything. So be prepared. So, babe, here we are in the Triwizard Cup, the forest, right? Forest. In that maze. Who quiz your Harry Potter knowledge since you're British, you know, and your girlfriend's a Harry Potter fan? So I'm expecting a lot of you. I don't know. Who? Oh, Harry Potter. Who was bewitched? in the forest, in the maze of the Triwizard Tournament Cup. Who was bewitched? Um, long bottom. Goodbye. This one is pretty. Wow, this is in Insulatus Grove. 
looks like me in the morning. <laughs> that does look like you in the morning. Oh my gosh, angry man, hangry man. Um, I wish the fountain was on. This looks like a nice like wedding venue. The whole place. Yes, babe, wedding venue. What is that? <laughs> so it looks like a nice, I wonder how much it is to rent out this. Look at that. This <laughs> flower. These ones only blossom in this time of the year. <laughs> well, that is it, guys, for our day at Versailles. 10 out of 10 worth it. Um, highly, highly recommend. I think our tickets, we pre-bought our tickets online last night, um, and we got the passport ticket, which gives you access to the palace, the gardens, basically everything. There's an additional, there's like additional things you can add on, like a train ride and like some other things. We just stayed basic, um, and we started in the gardens. We spent like two plus hours in the gardens and then by the time we got to the actual palace um we did not have that much time left because they close at 6 p.m but 6 p.m is really like 5 30 you know they start rushing you out so yeah so we were kind of rushed toward the end but we spent a lot of time in the gardens because the weather was holding up it was nice and i thought it was really really nice um and we were kind of rushing through the palace a little bit just so that we can make sure that we saw it so we pretty much saw like the state apartments which has the the hall of mirrors which is like very famous so we saw that spent some time there so that was really nice babe what's what was your rating of this experience did you like precise i liked it a lot a lot of walking but it was worth it yes uh, i think that it was good the time was good if we could have got it earlier it would be better it was raining Right. So we, you know, it was raining this morning. It really messed with our plans because we wanted to be here like first thing in the morning, like 9 a.m. when it opened so that we could spend the whole day here. But it rained pretty much till like 12 and we didn't want to be here when it rains, like doing the one hour travel and everything. All that to say, looking back, I think we still sh probably should have came because we could have spent the time that it was raining in the palace and then when it cleared up we could have went outside to the gardens right. so i think i pushed it back thinking that we were going to be outside the whole time when that wasn't the case so don't let the weather stop the versailles show like still come there's still plenty to do and if and when the weather breaks you can go out to the gardens during that time so there's still plenty to see and do that's inside but still we had a blast 10 out of 10 i really liked it i liked seeing this and getting outside of Paris a little bit and whatnot. So now we are getting ready to Uber back to Paris. Um, we have a dinner reservation tonight and it's our last night. So we are going to have dinner, hang out, chill for a little bit, and then get ready to go pack our bags, do all that fun stuff for our early flight to South France in the morning. We have to leave at like, what time babe? Like, 4:30 oh. or something like that because we, we got to be there at like five um so yeah so let's get going all right guys so we just finished dinner we went to a spot called what was it called babe dinner la jacobson huh Jacobine. jacobine la jacobine that's where we had dinner at um it was 10 out of 10 recommend um someone on my instagram recommended it to me when they saw i was in paris and i was like you know what we're looking for somewhere to go anyway so we took the trip over to a different neighborhood where it was and it was amazing like yesterday we tried to go we couldn't get there last night but we got on the wait list for tonight because it is constantly booked up and we were able to eat there tonight so 10 out of 10 recommend so now we are sightseeing a little bit at night so we're kind of like going around to some tourist attractions here in Paris and seeing what they look like in the nighttime. So here we are at the Louvre. So we're back at the Louvre, you guys, and it's nighttime. So look at the pyramid. It's so pretty. And you know, it doesn't get dark here until like 10 p.m. So that's what time it is. It is 10.30 p.m. And it's still a little light out. Like you guys see the sky. <laughs> Not used to this throwing off my circadian rhythm but let's go check out the city at night so 
Hotel, Miss Dr. Carter. Ooh, I like that. What is behind us? Please narrate. Okay. Over here we have the Louvre. The Louvre. Over here I think it's more Louvre. More Louvre. Over no. here is a, an arc. Arc. The <laughs> arc. An archway. Archway. Where are we heading to? We're heading to the other archway. Wow, can we see it down there? Let me zoom so they can see what we can see. Excuse me more. If you can see down there, it's lining up. What is that? The, the real triumph. All the way down there? Yes, madam. Oh, it literally it just feeds all the way down? It's a portal. Oops, sorry lads. Oh yeah, you're right. Literally all the way. When am I wrong? Eiffel Tower over there in the distance. Bat signal. What is that? Oh, this is the Palace Day something. So pretty.